Vas Vandegor, male indoor player. Sebastian Jacques Henry Vas Vandegor accomplished so much over the course of his volleyball career. Vas sparked the Netherlands to a 1996 FIVB World League title. And that was just the beginning of his memorable 1996 season. Under the leadership of famed Dutch coach and 2014 International Volleyball Hall of Fame inductee Joop Alberta, the middle blocker starred on a team of all-stars that also included 2012 inductee Peter Blanger and 2017 inductee Ron Zwever. Boss carried the Dutch on his shoulders throughout the 1996 Atlanta Olympic Games and led the Netherlands to its first ever Olympic Games gold medal in one of the sport's most thrilling finals, topping favored Italy in an exhilarating five-set victory, avenging an earlier three-set loss to Italy in pool play. At the conclusion of the 1996 Games, Boss was recognized as the most valuable player cementing his mark on the grandest stage. As memorable of a moment as that was, Boss and his brother Mike became the first two brothers to win volleyball gold at the same Olympic Games. A year after winning the Atlanta Games, Boss led the Netherlands to a gold at the European Championship in 1997. He also competed in the 2000 Sydney Olympic Games with Mike as a teammate once again. The Netherlands finished in fifth place, losing to eventual gold medalist Yugoslavia in an epic five-set match that denied the Dutch a second straight Olympic gold. Despite his team finishing in fifth place, Boss was honored with his second Most Valuable Player award at the end of the 2000 Olympics. He concluded his eight-year international career with 295 matches played for the Netherlands. Boss also enjoyed an illustrious pro career playing for Dynamo Apeldoorn in the Netherlands, along with clubs in Trevisio and Medina in Italy. His professional resume includes three titles in the famed European Champions League. In 2003, in only three years after his second Olympic Games, Boss was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Noticing that sporting activity had a positive effect on his diabetic symptoms, he continued playing for two additional years before switching to the role of technical director of volleyball club Pete Zoomer's Dynamo in Appledorn. After his playing career was over, he founded the Boss Vandegor Foundation in 2006 with the mission to improve the quality of life for people with diabetes through sports. In 2008, Boss wrote a book titled High on Insulin, illustrating how he, together with seven other people with diabetes and a medical team, climbed Mount Kilimanjaro to highlight how it is possible to live a complete and full life with diabetes. Boss was not limited to the indoor game after his playing career was over. He served as a key administrator for beach volleyball in his native country, the Netherlands. After serving as a tournament director of the Hague Grand Slam for two terms, Boss shifted into the tournament chief role of the highly successful 2015 FIVB Beach Volleyball World Championships. In 2016, Boss suffered a major health setback when it was announced that he was diagnosed with lymphoma, a form of cancer that attacks the immune system. Boss underwent chemotherapy to aggressively fight the cancer and in May of 2017, learned the treatment was successful. Boss quickly began working on his fitness and is now back in the same amount of energy he had before the diagnosis. For his outstanding career, leading the Netherlands to an unparalleled heights and bringing a better quality of life to others around him, we are proud to induct Sebastian Jacques Henry Boss Vandegor into the International Volleyball Hall of Fame as a male indoor player.